Just finished 11 days in the Brooks Range. We've been planning this hunt for about a year and a half. Some things fell into place and we got a rare opportunity to explore a new river. Pioneering the river, we knew there'd be logistics that were unforeseen. And mid to late September in the Brooks, we knew weather could be an issue. So we were preparing for a wild hunt. We definitely got everything we asked for in the wildness. But it was a remote river, hard to get access into. We had to get dropped on a lake and drag about six miles to get into the river system. And we had a pretty long float to get out to the pickup point here. But it was a really wild adventure and here's our story. death march. Far. Just got set up a camp right before dark. First day, saw a little bit of moose sign, but very brutal drag. The first couple miles was pretty brutal. And then we started hitting some low water, and maybe about three or four miles in, we started getting some trickling stream. So we uh, filled up one of the rafts with air, and we kind of dragged our way down with everything else loaded in it, and all of I just dragging it. But We've made it almost to the main confluence, so we set up camp and kind of take an early, uh, easy morning and get to the hunt tomorrow. It's getting pretty chilly quick here. <sighs> Last night it got real cold, clear, so everything froze up a little bit. I don't know if I'm breaking sticks or setting camp, but woke up, woke up in the middle of the night, got to see the northern lights at about 2 a.m. It was cold, so slept off and on. We were gonna sleep in and just recoup from the drag and, and float downstream a little bit to find a nicer camp. But we woke up to some stomping, opened the tent, and had a, a nice bull moose standing outside. Great start to the trip was a, was a young bull, smaller bull. But yeah, hopefully that's a good sign of, must be some old ones in here too. But just take it.
we were floating down just to get through the braided section of the river just in case our waters came down and stuff. And uh, we crossed a nice track of a bull. Looks like a decent sized bull. Hard to tell, but you can tell a nice, nice impression in the sand. It looks like it was earlier this morning. So we pulled up down the river a little bit, set up camp, and uh, we're gonna spend the afternoon just trying to find this guy in here, calling him, see if we can pull something to the river. section not really knowing first step there. A lot of our element have usually hunted elk but we gave some cow calls and this book caught them all. Oh, me too, bro. My heart it came like 100 yards or like 200 yards down. 50 yard shot I put it right in my heart and I doubled doubled up. With her bull down he tried to circle us. I misjudged him I thought he was I ranged him at 50 but he went around some trees and into the stream hit him a little low but ended up in the heart. He ran out in the stream and I had a 65 yard follow up. Nailed him and he shot it right here behind camp. We probably got to move our beautiful camp we just set up now, but literally like 10 yards. Just loading up this camp. We're gonna work downstream to a new camp, about four or five miles. Get away from this car cave. We've got all the meat loaded up and getting back. Cat packed.
Lucky cat. Yep. Had that big bull come across last night, at last light. We tried to get on it, just thought it might be bedding up behind camp to respond to the calls in the morning, but the weather got nasty last night. We had to get out in the middle of the night and tie the raft to the teepee. We thought the, the stakes were pulling out of the ground. It was windy. It's been steady rain all morning. We went out there this morning and did a calling set up just to see if that bull was tucked in here and got a little damp and cold after about an hour. We tucked it back in and got some messages on the inreach from the pilots and the wives that there's a huge storm out here. So we're going to read and eat our mountain house, drink coffee and hope it ends. Oh man, the river came about a foot. Almost lost my meat, had to relocate it. A couple of things around camp. Texted with the pilot and he said, it's a 50 year storm, it's just to the west of us and to not take chances with flooding, we were getting pretty nervous. So it was 10 o'clock, I don't know. 10 o'clock at night, it's we late. climbed into this flat, found at least four feet of elevation from the river. Set up camp, everything's wet. We've had a bag of wood. That we've been keeping in a dry bag. Let's see how good we are here. Praying the stove works and warm up and back to the sleeping bag tent life. All right, better safe than sorry though. Yeah, second fire. Second day in the tent all day. The river is uh, still swollen, but the, the rain looks like it's tapered off and the winds are supposed to die off tonight. We're getting sore from sitting in this tent that we're committing. Tomorrow morning we're loading up and even if we got to pick our way down slowly, we just got to work our way through and Let's put up the moose meat and see if we can navigate this canyon portion and get into a little bit bigger, wider river, a little bit easier to float, and see if we can continue moose hunting for our last few days and not just be stuck in a tent waiting for the inevitable. It's been a long run. It's been a long run of waiting. At least we got the stove. Second fire of the trip here. My bag of sticks is running low. All right, three days till rain broke last night. It's cloudy, foggy, but. No rain all night. The river's down slightly, but it seems to be lowering at a decent rate. So we're gonna chance it this morning. We're loaded up, we're sick of this camp. We're gonna try and pick our way downstream to get out of this canyon a little bit and hunt our way down. The river's so high, there's no gravel bars to camp on. So we're making makeshift camp here in the willows and sand. Looks like a lot of moose in this area though, but river's still raging, kind of dangerous.
We came back into this oxbow and there was a lot of sign on the ground already. We knew there was bull in here. We started working our way up the side of the oxbow and he started to grunt. He heard our sticks breaking and he grunted at us. So we stopped, set up a call, shot him at 15 yards. Pretty, pretty epic experience. Died in the water is unfortunate, but now the work begins. Whew. Bull down. Bull's hunting, tagged out. We just finished a long evening. We got all of ice bull down. Butchered it all up. There's a little small little sub channel, super high water, so we we're able to drag the raft all the way in there. We've got all the meat and we dragged it back upstream into the main channel of the river. It's maybe a couple hundred yards from our camp here. Left the raft and all the meat tarped up, so the river came down about an inch and a half today. It's raining right now, just lightly though. So we're gonna take care of some meat and stuff, and hopefully the river comes down and we're all tagged out and we're gonna try and shoot this river and just make it out of this canyon safely and head to the pickup point soon here. And we still got a, about 45 miles to float to get out of here, maybe 50. But the water's moving, shouldn't take us too long. <laughs> All right, we're here at Safe Harbor, at our little camp. We're gonna tackle the river, came down about six inches. We're loaded up with two moose and all of our camp. We got the next two miles is the hairiest part of the river, so we've been, it's been consuming our mind, but we're gonna pick our way through this and we should be smooth sailing for another 40 miles to the pickup point. Probably two days of floating. Here's our, here's our harbor. Into the, into the river. Ooh, that rapids a little bit bigger than we thought. We're gonna try and paddle this first one. And there's a little slack water between the next one. If we can get to the bank, we'll try and walk the rafts a little bit there. But hopefully once we get through this, they get easier as they go. But this is a little bit more than we were hoping for. Good thing the water came down six inches. Whew. This is why we were waiting so long for the water to come down. Now All we're right. boots hunting, not whitewater rafting. Uncharted river too. <laughs> Keep it straight. We're alive. 
We still got meat and bulls on the raft. Alapai's got one paddle left or <laughs> one half foot paddle. <laughs> but we made it. That was some radical stuff. We got some rapids over the head of a couple, but oh. hallelujah. Really water constantly. Ooh. We're gonna pull over and pull out all the meat and let it dry out and eat some lunch and just put some hand warmers in my gloves and in my mittens and all my toes and oops. And then we're gonna float as much as we can float. All right. paddle than we thought <clears throat> we got down here kind of late the gravel bar we were supposed to get picked up on is flooded it's about under knee deep of water so change your plans think our original pilot with the float plane is going to come get us tomorrow just breaking down rafts got the meat hung up got the teepee set up hopefully it's our last night out here but tiring long float today two days in a row mm -hmm. 